Hello, um, I'm Andrew Barnes. I'm a senior technology engineer working at ESA. Um, at the last eight, nine, ten years or so, I've been responsible for establishing uh, an end-to-end -end supply chain in Europe for gallium nitride technology. If you own a, a Blu-ray player, you're likely to own a, a small crystal uh, of gallium nitride as they're used to realise high-performance uh, blue lasers. The gallium nitride is a, a very important material. It can be used in a wide range of uh, applications, including the ability to have high output power capability, high voltage, operated high temperatures, and also it's inherently radiation hard, and all these attributes are very important for space. The output of this effort uh, in 2008 was a program of work entitled the Gallium Nitride Reliability Enhancement and Technology Transfer Initiative, which is called GREAT for short. Now this program of work uh, involved some of the leading research institutes in Europe, design companies, and also, very importantly, industrial manufacturers, where the aim was to produce a range of space-qualified GAN components on an end-to-end -end basis. The initial focus of GREAT was to concentrate on developing a supply chain for microwave component technology. An important milestone occurred in 2013 when the first GREAT product was actually successfully tested in orbit. This was a gallium nitride monolithic microwave integrated circuit uh, that was used to realize the X-band telemetry transmitter on Proba-V. To date, the uh, X-band telemetry transmitter has been used to download extensive amounts of image data and has been operating perfectly seamlessly for over three and a half years with no drift in performance of the gallium nitride technology. Because of the flight heritage gained on Proba-V, this has started to give uh, ESA project teams confidence in using gallium nitride technology. So much so that the methodology adopted in GREAT is now being used to test hundreds of transistors for use in the ESA biomass mission. So gallium nitride microwave power transistors will be used to realise a P-band synthetic aperture radar with very high levels of performance. And without gallium nitride technology, this P-band SAR radar would not be able to achieve the uh, required mission specifications. So to date, the output of GREAT has been very successful. Um, we now have uh, our first technology already been running in space. We're starting to use the technology on uh, ESA missions. We aim in the future now to consolidate the good progress made by uh, performing space qualification on a range of European foundry processes to make uh, space system insertion uh, more easier to achieve. But also, we are now starting to leverage the techniques, uh, processes and materials development to move on to a different area. And this is in the field of gallium nitride power conversion. So in 2015, we've now initiated a new large program of work to develop GAN on silicon power transistors to allow us to enable a 50% reduction in mass and volume of next generation space conversion subsystems with improved efficiency. Undoubtedly, GAN is a disruptive technology that's already making a major impact and this technology is here to stay.